Hello students, welcome to the channel Pharma for you. So today in this video, we are going to discuss the multiple choice questions of the parental parentals uh, topic, uh, which is based on the previous year questions with their detailed descriptions. So here we have first question is a co-solvent used in the preparation of parental product is and the options are option A is benzyl alcohol, option B is methyl alcohol, option C is dimethyl acetamide and option D is phenol. So which is the uh, correct answer? So the correct answer is dimethyl acetamide. So dimethyl acetamide is used as the co-solvent used in the parental product. So let's discuss in detail. First, we have to know that what is co-solvency. So the co-solvency is the solubility of poorly water soluble drug can be increased by the addition of water miscible solvents means co-solvents in which the drug has good solubility. So co-solvents are used to increase the solubility of the poorly water soluble drugs. So here we have some examples that Co-solvents used in the parentals are ethanol, propylene glycol, polyethylene glycol, glycerin, dimethyl amine, cremophore EL, dimethyl acetamide, which is asked in the in the question. So the answer, correct answer is dimethyl acetamide. And the dimethyl isosorbide and sorbitol. So these are the co-solvents which you which is used in the parental products. So the correct answer is dimethyl acetamide. So moving on the moving on next question that water attack test is for. Uh, this question is very important. So the options are type one, egg, one glass, type two glass, type three glass type 4 uh, type np glass so the correct answer is type 2 glass that water attack test is for type 2 glass uh, students this question is very important and uh, from this question uh, from this uh, this portion the question asked every year in the competitive exam so let's discuss in brief Here we have a table which is very important in this the type of glass is mentioned and the name of glass also mentioned and the test which is the test for these glass and the maximum volume of 0 0.02 and normal of H2SO4 is needed and what is the uses of these glass. So students in 2018 this question uh, in 2018 uh, from this topic the question arises. So the first question, uh, the first is type 1 glass. So the type 1 glass is borosilicate glass and the test is for powdered glass test. So hence the number, the quantity of H2SO4 is needed is 2 ml. And what are the uses? Buffered, known buffered, aqueous or oily injections are stored in these type of glasses. So, whereas in comparison uh, in, uh, in type 2 glass, the uh, name of the type 2 glass is treated soda lime glass. And the test is for that water attack test, which is asked in the question that it is the answer water attack test. So, the volume of H2SO4 is 0 0.7 ml. This is the quantity and the what are the uses of this buffered aqueous dry powder or oily injections are stored in this type of glass. So coming on the type 3 glass that is soda lime glass and the test is powder glass test and the quantity of the H2SO4 is to needed that 8.5 ml and what are the uses of type 3 glasses? for dry powder and oily injection and coming on the type 4 glass it is general purpose glass so and the test is for this type 4 is powder glass test and the uh, volume of h2so4 is needed to 15 ml 
and the use is, is used as oral and topical so this is all about the description of the glasses and type and name of the glasses and test so hence the powder attack test performed on all that is in type 1 type 2 and type 4 where water attack test performed on only type 2 students just remain uh, just uh, try to understand that water attack is uh, test for is type 2 glass which is used to measure alkali leaching from glass on increase in temperature so hence the correct answer is type 2 glass so moving on next question that bulking agents used for parental preparation is sodium metabisulfite option option b is benzyl alcohol option c is carbolic acid and option d is sorbitol so which is used as the bulking agent in parental preparation so the correct answer is sorbitol sorbitol is used as bulking agent in parental preparation so let's discuss in detail that sodium metabisulfite what it's used in parental preparation so it's used as antioxidant and antioxidant is is a substance that inhibits the oxidation where benzyl alcohol used as preservative and the preservative is that substance which inhibit the microbial growth and carbolic acid that is phenol is used as antiseptic which prevents the growth of disease causing microorganism and last is the sorbitol which is asked in the question that it is used as bulking agent or tonicity contributor contributing tonicity of a product to reduce the pain so hence the correct answer is sorbitol is used as bulking agent so moving on the next question that which of the following commonly available for large volume dextrose solution for intravenous use is isotonic try to understand the question students so the options are 2.5 percent weight by volume and option b is 5.0 percent weight by volume and option c is 10 percent weight by volume and option d is 20 percent weight by volume so the correct answer according to this is the five percent weight by volume it is used uh, it is available as large volume dextrose solution for intravenous so moving on the explanation part on of this that when two environment are isotonic the total molar concentration of dissolved solute is the same in both of them and when cells are in isotonic solution movement of water out of the cell is exactly balanced by the movement of water in the into the cell it will try to understand this as these this paragraph with the so hence the correct answer is five percent weight by solution of dextrose is used as isotonic solution for IV administration so hence the correct answer is 5% so moving on the next question that water for injection differs from sterile distilled water as it is free from option A is carbon dioxide option B is pyrogens option C is preservative and option D is antioxidant in question the, uh, the question asks that water for injections differs from sterile water uh, sterile distilled water as it is free from and the correct answer is pyrogen so pyrogen is free from the uh, actually water for injection differs from sterile distilled water as it is free from pyrogen so moving on description of this that actually water for injection is so uh, let's discuss in uh, <clears throat> let's discuss in brief the, about the water for injection so water for injection is highly purified water 
which is used as vehicle for injectable preparation students try to note down that it is used as vehicle and prepared by distillation or by reverse osmosis it this is the process where for which that water for injection is prepared that distillation and reverse osmosis is the process and usp requirements include not more than 10 parts per million of total solids and total organic carbon 500 ppb where conductivity is done conductivity is done at 1.3 us at 25 degrees celsius and 1.5 1.1 sorry at 20 degrees celsius and it is not required to be sterile it's all about the information of the water for injection so moving on the sterile water for injection actually what is sterile water for injection so it must be sterile and stored in a single dose container where water for injection is not required to be sterile and it contain more solid content that is 20 to 40 is the range is given and they must be free from pyrogen which is asked in the question that sterile water for injection must be free from pyrogen and microbial contamination actually pyrogen is the pyrogen is the metabolic product of the microorganism uh, pyrogen is produced by the uh, microorganism and uh, most of the uh, gram negative bacteria produce uh, the pyrogen it should not contain pyrogen not more than 0 0.25 endotoxin per unit ml it should also comply with sterility test so hence sterile water for injection differs from water for injection as it is free from pyrogen pyrogen is the correct answer so moving on the next question as per gmp permitted limit of solid contents in water for injection is option a is 100 ppm option b is 1.0 ppm option c is 0 0.1 ppm option d is 10.0 ppm so as per gme per, permitted li, uh, limit of solid content in water for injection is 10 ppm so the correct answer is 10 ppm so let's discuss in a brief or explanation part that as per gmp permitted limit of solid content in water for injection is 10 ppm and the total organic carbon is 500 parts per billion so this is all about the uh, in this video so please uh, 